Many of the girls were in class when we visited the Salaga Islamic Junior High School in Salaga. They, like their male counterparts, have defied everything to study in a structure head teacher Yusuf Hakim describes as a death trap. As you can see, the building is almost about collapsing. That hindered a lot of teaching and learning. Uh, with the structure of the school, you can see how dilapidated it is. Uh, almost about falling, the roofs almost, almost all the classes are leaking. No amount of repairs and patch-ups appear to be dealing with the cracks, and there are fears if something drastic is not done, a disaster is imminent. Currently, that's because of the nature of the school. Almost all students have been taken off to the school, and it has become the least populated DHS currently in the municipality. Average in the past, we used to have not less than 600 students because it is two streams, six classroom blocks. But currently, we have less than 200 students. If the government can come to our aid to build a new structure for us so that teaching and learning can go on very well for us. On the premises, school authorities are in a fierce battle with community folks over a toilet facility. Staff Secretary Al Hassan Jibril Mumuni does not understand why residents would break into the toilet. We have closed it a time back, but then the people from the community do have access to it. At times when we close it, they jump and then enter and defecate anyhow. Now, ever since its construction, uh, I must say it has never seen any sort of renovation. Because of that, the roofing is off. So mostly students find it difficult accessing it to ease themselves. And the young girls are left disadvantaged. The girls, as it were, using it in the state that it is, poses hygienic issues for them. At times you even insist that they use it, but they will tell you that the way it is, they prefer going to the bushes. Them going to the bush affects their studies because at times they will go, something that they will use a few minutes to do, they will go because they are not in the sight of the teachers, they will go and keep long the whilst lessons are ongoing. Those with the uh, menstrual issues, uh, we designated a madam in the school. When it so happens like this, the madam guides them using one of our unused facility, a, a decent classroom, to for them to take care of themselves. And that one to, I would say, it is not the ideal situation. According to UNICEF, only 49% of countries have achieved gender parity in primary education. At the secondary level, the gap widens. 42% of countries have achieved gender parity in lower secondary education and 24% in upper secondary education. The reasons are many. Barriers to girls' education like poverty, child marriage and gender-based violence vary among countries and communities. In some places like Salaga Islamic Junior High School, facilities do not meet the safety, hygiene or sanitation needs of girls. Our toilet is not good, so we need new toilets. Secondly, our school is building is not good. Whenever it's rain, the rain always beat us. Those who have braved it to remain here hope things change and get better. We need our toilet and school should be constructed as new for us so that we'll be able to attract new students and also the teaching and learning will go on for us. While they hang on to hope, they pray they do not one day wake up to their death in these structures. Komla Adom TV3 News, Salaga.